In this video, we're going to take a look at the Relief Cookie Cutter. Now to use this tool, you need to have a relief on the model. So what I'm going to do is to just create a basic relief, show you how to use the tool, and then I'm going to show you how to use it sort of in practice. So if I just create quickly, just let's say a circle, and I'm going to use the shape editor on that. I'm just going to add a round shape onto there. Okay, and just apply it and then cancel. And I can delete that vector. So if I rotate around, you can see that I've just got this dome. Okay, so previously with Maker Plus, you wouldn't have the option to do anything with this now. You would have created this dome and you were stuck with it. You couldn't move it. The Relief Cookie Cutter tool allows you to free it up from the model and then you can move it and resize it later if you wanted to. So with that relief there, I'm going to go up to the Relief Cookie Cutter here. The shortcut for it is Control and T. And if I select it, what happens is it frees up the whole of the relief and turns it into blue floating clip art. So now I can use this relief that I've drawn just as I would clip art. So I can move it around, I can resize it, I can rotate it. Now the good thing about this is that you can draw something free it up and then move it off screen and then draw let's say the next part and then at the end of it you can assemble all of the parts together right this is also undoable so i can just undo that and undo again and it goes back to being a relief as it was at the start now what you can also do with this is use it within a vector so if I go to there, let's say, and let's just draw a rectangle, let's say going through there. And what this will do, it will free up the area within the vector. So what I can do is select the relief cookie cutter again, and just that portion turns blue. So I can either resize it like so, or I can move that portion out of the model. Now, if I wanted to, I could, let's say, rotate that around and then put that back in the model. I can create some funky designs or whatever. Or let's undo that. Let's move it out of the model. I don't have to do that. It's just so you can see. And I'll delete the vector. And then what I can do is reset the relief. So I could delete the area that's left in here. So if I go to this option, reset relief, shift and delete is the shortcut for that. It removes the underlying relief. And then I can put that back. So F9 and then press enter and it will paste it down. So it's a really, really nice feature to take parts from other reliefs that you've drawn, but also it allows you to create a piece, free it up, move it off screen, and then create another piece. And then at the end of it, you can assemble all of these together. Right, so let's use this sort of in practice. So let me reset that relief again and I'll take a plan view. So what I'm going to do is take a couple of reliefs from the Relief Clip Art Library. I've got some sort of idea of what I want to do. If I open up the Relief Clip Art Library, you can see that I've got a pig down here, and I'd like to make a flying pig, okay? So what I need is some wings to start with, and it's important, you'll see in a moment, that you sort of get this in the correct sort of order when you paste down. Um, 
because what you don't want to do is paste something down and then paste something over the top of it. Once you've done that, you won't be able to do anything with it because you can't turn on or off one of the reliefs. So once two are pasted together and merged, then you have to commit to that. Okay, the only way to come back from that is to undo it. So what I would advise is leave everything as floating clip art, so it's all blue, until the last moment and you're completely happy with it. But you'll, you'll see when I do this. Okay, so let's bring in this eagle. Let's make it a bit larger, like so. I'm not bothered where this is on the screen, so I'll just paste this down. Okay, and let's close the relief clip art library. Okay, so I'm not going to take the right hand wing because I don't have the full wing of there because the head is overlapping. So what I'm going to do is take the left wing. Now to do that, just create a boundary. So I'm just doing this really rough here until I get down to here. And then I'm going to follow around here like so. Okay, and then just join that up and then cookie cut it. And that frees up that wing so I can move that out of the way. And then what I can do is just delete that. I don't need this eagle any longer, so let's reset the relief. And it doesn't affect this blue clip art that I have here. So I'll just leave that off screen. I'll just move it over there. And I'm not going to worry about that just for the moment. So that part is done. So let's bring in the pig. <laughs> and I want to sort out a few things with this pig. So let's bring that pig in. Let's press F9 to put this in the center. And I'm going to just paste it down. Okay, so first of all, the pig actually comes down to the edge of the model. So it's the dome that's on there is just coming straight down. And I want to make it a bit higher. So I want to bring the pig up. Okay, so I want to add the start height to this. So there are a couple of ways that you could do this. I could, when I bring in the model, wherever it is over there. I could go to the paste options and paste an outline vector, which is here, because I need to get an outline so I can use the shape editor to make it, to make it larger. But what I'm going to do is if I go to the vector drop down and create, and then I'm going to come down to relief boundary. Make sure that you have create smooth boundaries on, otherwise it will give you jagged edges. You don't want that. Click create, and there you can see that it's given me a boundary. So let's go to the shape editor, and I'll just turn off the vector for a moment, and I'm just going to give it a start height. Let's see what point one looks like. That looks okay. Select apply, and I'll cancel that. You can see that it's added a start height. Now you can also see that it's got sort of a little lip on here. So what I'm going to do with that is to smooth it. Let's zoom out to touch and then go to smooth relief. Now notice that this isn't affecting this blue clip art. It's only affecting whatever is in the relief, which is yellow. So Let's smooth that a little bit, let's say like so, just so it blends in on the edge. So select apply and cancel. Okay, so that looks okay. Now the reason that I've added the start height to this is to make sure that that pig is quite high. So I know that I have a problem with the wings. Okay, I wanna show you how to get around this. Right, so let's start assembling the wings. So if I, move that somewhere near to the center. Let's press F9 on there. Take a plan view. 
and then I'm going to start transforming this. Let's move it, let's say to there. Looks a bit too large at the moment, so let's resize it. Let's give him some nice little cute wings. Maybe around there, like so. Okay, let's make it a little bit larger. Okay, so that doesn't actually look too bad at the moment. So what I'm going to do is make it so it doesn't work. So I'm going to bring this up. Okay, so I wanted to make sure that this comes over the top of the pig and it doesn't really look right. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, what you don't want to do is paste this down now. Okay, so if I delete that vector and I were to paste this down now, that would end up just looking like that. I, I can't do anything with this. If I tried to basically manipulate this wing, it would also affect the pig. So if I were to, let's say, go to, let's say, the erase tool and start doing that, you can see that it's actually affecting the pig. And I don't want that. So let's undo that. And let's go back to there. Okay, so before I pasted this wing down, what I need to do is free up the pig. So I need to click Relief Cookie Cutter and turn the pig into blue. Then what I can do is paste that wing down and then I can basically affect the wing without affecting the pig. Now before I do that, I'm going to create a copy of this wing. So if I just select the vector on the outline Press control down on the keyboard, it will basically create a copy if I drag. So I'm just dragging over here and it's created a copy. Right, so let's sort out that second wing before I actually sort out this main wing. So let's bring that down here. As you can see, it's exactly the same size. It's going to transform. Let's rotate around, make it a little bit smaller, and I'll just put it at the top there. Okay, now I'm not going to worry about that too much at the moment. I want to sort out this main wing. As you can see, it's really high, and it doesn't really sit well with the actual pig. So let's paste that down. Okay, so that's pasted down, and I can see the relief. Now if I wanted to turn off the visibility of these blue pieces of clip art, if you click this blue star that will turn off the visibility. Okay and I don't need that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fade this down a little bit. So if I go to fade and I'm going to set the top of it to be there, the bottom to be down here. Okay, now obviously I need the pig back on so I can see what's going on here. So let's toggle the visibility back on. Maybe let's cancel that and just move that one out of the way for the moment. So let's go back into it. And let's move my points, turn the peak back on. Okay, so that's sort of blended into the top of there. Okay, now you probably want to do this so it's a bit more free form. Okay, so I'm going to cancel that. And I'm going to use the sculpting tool instead. Okay, and then I can just affect this and it doesn't affect the pig. Okay, 
Okay, so that's blended in quite nicely. Maybe I want to take the whole thing down just a touch. Like so. And you can see I've got that wing there now. Okay, so let's close that. Let's bring this wing back. Maybe to there. And probably need to make this one a little bit smaller. And I might want to rotate around. Okay, so this one, this needs to drop down. Like so. Just so it sits underneath this top wing. And then I can paste that one down. Do exactly the same thing for this one. So let's go back into the arrays and I'm just going to arrange it so we can see the pig's ear. Now, because I've pasted both of these down, it's affecting both of the reliefs. Okay, so make sure that you get this right before pasting it down. Okay, so that looks okay. And then when you're happy, you can paste the pig down and then that will give you your relief now if you want to create copies of this then what you can do is free up the whole relief you can make this smaller like so you could maybe create a mirror of this across the model and then maybe have some text in the middle here you paste this down. Okay, so that's basically how the relief cookie cutter works. It's a really, really useful tool for freeing up models that have been created. And it also create compositions within your model files.